In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate the payment buttons for the main sales page as well as upsell and downsell pages. Now let's take an example. It will be easier to explain how to generate the payment buttons for the main sales page as well as upsell and downsell pages uh, if I walk you through this example. Now let's say that I have three products. Internet Marketing Secrets is my first product. So this is going to be on my main sales page. I need to generate the payment button that will allow me to sell the Internet Marketing Secrets product. What I want to do is when my users take the Internet Marketing Secrets offer, uh, I want them to automatically be transferred to the Social Media Secrets sales page because that's where I'm going to have my first upsell offer. Now on that page, I must have two buttons, a yes thanks, which is really an upsell button that will allow me to upsell the Social Media Secrets product. And I need a no thanks button because I need a way for my users to exit the upsell flow if they don't want that upsell offer. What I want to do is if my users take the upsell offer for Social Media Secrets, I want to send them to the second upsell page. And I'm going to be upselling Facebook Secrets product. On the Facebook Secrets upsell offer page as well, I'm going to have two buttons. I will have the Facebook Secrets upsell button that will allow my users to take the upsell offer for Facebook Secrets. And uh, when they complete that, I will send them to the final confirmation page because I don't have any more upsells. Now, if the users decide not to take the Facebook Secrets offer, I'm going to send them to the final confirmation page because I do not have any more upsell or downsell offers. For the social media secrets, the upsell is going to send them to Facebook Secrets. Please note that the no thanks is also going to send them to Facebook Secrets because that's what I want to downsell. So I'm upselling and downselling the exact same product. If my users decide to add the upsell offer one, great, they still go to Facebook Secrets. If they decide not to take the upsell offer one, they still go to the Facebook Secrets because that's my downsell. Now let's take a look at how to generate the payment buttons for these pages. Now let's say that I have three products. Internet Marketing Secret is my first product in the sales funnel. So this is my main product. I need to generate the payment button that will go on the sales page for Internet Marketing Secrets. Now let's say that I have two upsell products. Social Media Secrets is my first upsell product and Facebook Secrets is my second upsell product. I also downsell the Facebook Secrets product when somebody decides to not take the Social Media Secrets upsell offer. So if they click on No Thanks, you will see that when you hover over it, it points to Facebook Secrets. So I want to set it up so that Internet Marketing Secrets is my main sales page and it has the main payment button that kicks off the entire upsell process. To generate the payment button, you need to log into the DAP admin dashboard, go to payment processing, generate buy button page. On this page, you will see there are several tabs. You need to select the PayPal standard upsell tab. And uh, there are just simple steps. The first step is to select the product. Now, in our example, the first product that we have on our main sales page it's the Internet Marketing Secrets product. So we need to first generate the payment button for the main sales page for our first product in the flow. Now the first step is to select the product. I have selected the Internet Marketing Secrets product right here. Second step is to generate the primary buy button for your main offer. Now I want to generate the buy button for Internet Marketing Secrets product. That's why I have selected it here. Uh, and that's going to be my very first offer. URL of the first upsell page. Where do I want to send my users after they take the Internet Marketing Secrets offer? I want to send them to the first upsell page. That's going to be Social Media Secrets page. So what I have done is I have created a upsell page for Social Media Secrets and I'm going to put in the URL of that page right here because that's where I want my users to land if they take the very first offer for Internet Marketing Secrets. Now payment error page, you can put in any URL you want here. Users will go there if there is any error during payment processing. You could create a page in WordPress with any message you want and the users will see that page if there is any errors during payment processing. Payment cancel page, you can put in any URL you want with any message you want uh, and the users are going to end up on this page if they cancel the purchase. Payment button image, you can put in any uh, button image you want put in the full URL and that will get picked. Um, or you could just use the default 
you can copy the example here just remember to change your site.com with the name of your site and this is the button image that's going to show up on your main sales page where you're selling your main or your primary product uh, that's it once you have filled in the text boxes you can then click on generate button or do generate payment link and when you click on the generate button it's going to give you the button code you can copy that or generate the link and copy that onto a WordPress page where you have your main offer now here's my WordPress page for internet marketing secrets here's my main offer and here's my payment button so what I have done is in WordPress I have cut and pasted the button code I got and uh, this is the result of that so this is going to be my main offer as you can see here uh, in WordPress admin panel internet marketing secrets in the text editor I have added the button code that I got from DAP so you can see that right here and that's it once you have added the button code your main sales page is ready with your main payment button for your very first or your primary product next step go ahead and generate the upsell buttons for your upsell offers now let's take a look at how to generate the payment button for the upsell pages now in this example I'm going to be upselling social media secrets as my upsell offer one we have already completed the main sales page button generation so let's see how to do the upsell offer one button generation I need to generate the upsell button as well as a no thanks button so let's go ahead and do that first step is to select the product that we are going to upsell so we are going to select the social media secrets product here after you have selected the product go to step 3 because you can skip step 2 because that's only for the primary button and here we are generating upsell button that we do in step 3 so here the upsell product is social media marketing secrets what type of button are we generating we are generating an upsell button now these are the default values that uh, the button generator is picking up from the DAP products page for the social media secrets product if you want to change it because it's a special upsell offer you can change it right here uh, the upsell amount the number of days of access upon payment now please remember that the upsell or the downsell products cannot be subscription products these are all one-time products so because it's these are just one-time products you can say uh, what's the amount you're going to be selling it for uh, as upsell and number of days of access that the users are going to receive when they purchase it if it's forever then just set it to a big number like 9999 if it's limited then just set it to say 100 days and the users will receive that many days of access when they add the upsell offer to their order will there be more upsells after this upsell yes because in our example we have another upsell so we are going to say yes this is not the last upsell and URL of the next upsell page now what are we going to be upselling next in this example we are going to be upselling Facebook secrets so when the users decide to say yes I'm going to take the social media secrets upsell offer we want to send them to the Facebook secrets page that's where we are going to be upselling the Facebook secrets product so in the button generator we need to put in the URL of the Facebook secrets offer so let's do that and here we are going to put in that URL button image now this is the image that is going to show up on the upsell page so this is the social media secrets and this is the upsell button and this is the image that you need to put in there um, if you don't put in anything this will be the default image and if you decide to put something else then that's what's going to show up on your upsell page so you can put the default or you can change to any image you want and when you're done with that just hit generate the button the alert message here you can see here it says this is an upsell button for social media secrets per the options you selected there are more upsells after this when users click on the upsell button this product will be first added to cart and the users will end up on the next upsell page and in this case we have set it to be the Facebook secrets uh, offer is this correct if yes press ok yes it's ok it give us, gives us the button code so we are going to select the button code and uh, we are going to go and put that on the social media secrets page and this is the button 
as you can see here in WordPress admin panel um, in the text tab you will see that I have copied the button code that I got from DAP uh, for the upsell offer for social media secrets product so here's the button code and that's it uh, this completes the creation of upsell button for my first upsell offer so this is the one that we have created right there upsell Facebook secrets next step is to create the no thanks button uh, that also goes on the social media secrets page so the button that you see here the link that you see here this is the one that we need to create because the users must have a way to exit the upsell offer in case they don't want to take that upsell now in this case what we want to do is we want to point the no thanks also to the Facebook secrets product because we want to downsell Facebook secrets so even if they don't take the social media secrets upsell offer we still want to downsell and we want to downsell the Facebook secrets uh, and want to send the users there let's see how to do that so back to the button generation page here what you need to do is select the button type as no thanks you don't have to change the upsell product because it's still social media secrets all we are trying to do here is generate a no thanks button that goes on the upsell page the landing page for no thanks it can be the next upsell page downsell or the final summary page now we are not yet ready to send them to the final summary or the final confirmation page uh, because we want to send them to the Facebook secrets offer as the downsell so that's what we got to do here need to put in that URL button image for the no thanks now you can leave it empty uh, it will show up as a link or you can put in the image and uh, that's it just say generate upsell no thanks button and as you can see it generates a um, hyperlink and take that and you can put that right here as you can see here for no thanks and when you do that it's going to show up just like this no thanks I want to skip the offer when you hover over it you will see uh, the link that it's pointing to it's pointing to Facebook secrets and you can see that link show up right here towards the bottom of this page uh, this is it this completes the first upsell offer page now we got to move on to the next upsell offer page so if you take a look at this chart the next step is to create the upsell offer to Facebook secrets we need to create the upsell button and the no thanks button for the Facebook secrets upsell offer let's see how to do that now here I have selected the Facebook secrets product because this is going to be our upsell offer too I'm going to skip the generate primary buy button because we are generating upsell button for the upsell page so we'll go straight to step number three upsell product selected Facebook secrets choose a button type it's an upsell button upsell amount and number of days of access can be changed here or you can leave the default it comes from the DAP products page pricing tab and then you can change it to whatever you want will there be more one click upsells after this so you can say yes or no but in this case in this example we do not have any more upsells or downsells so I'm going to say no uh, URL of the final order summary page so this is very important we have already created the confirmation page and so this is the landing page final landing page because this is where the users will see all their orders and then they have to do a checkout so what I'm going to do is insert the confirmation URL right here and button image this is for the upsell offer on the sales page for Facebook secrets so if I have a button um, I'll put that or I'll leave it empty and the default will take effect which is going to be looking something like this so you can put your own image or leave the default and uh, that's it then you can say generate the button it says this is an upsell button for Facebook secrets product and according to the options you selected this is the last upsell button which is true and when users click on this final button they will end up on the final confirmation page and here's the URL so you can verify everything and make sure it's correct and if everything looks okay hit OK and it will give you the button code now you take the button code and uh, go to your Facebook secrets page and in the text editor uh, text tab you can put the generated button code right here as you see I have done that and the next step is to generate the no thanks button 
for the upsell page as you can see here this is the facebook secrets page and i have an add to order here for the upsell and i have a no thanks in case the users don't want the upsell offer let's see how to generate the no thanks so here facebook secrets is already selected so i don't have to go back to step one uh, since the right product is already selected all i have to do is change the button type to no thanks in the landing page it can be the next upsell or final summary now Facebook secret is the last one in the flow after that I want the users to go to the confirmation page so no thanks should also lead to the final confirmation page so let's put in the URL of the final confirmation page right here so we'll copy it from here put it right here and that's it you can put in a button image or leave the default and generate the no thanks button it'll give you a hyperlink as the default and then you can take that and put that on your sales page for uh, the upsell offer so for the facebook secrets upsell offer here is the no thanks and as you can see here there is an add to order for upsell there is a no thanks if the users do not want the upsell offer regardless of whether the user take the upsell offer or hit no thanks they will always end up on um, the confirmation page that's the final confirmation page which will look something like this uh, the users can then say check out now again the this icon that you see here to remove items from the cart it's is configurable so you can uh, say whether or not you want this to show up when you're generating the confirmation page so the users can then hit the final checkout and at that time all of the orders is going to be submitted one shot to PayPal and the purchase will be completed at that point so that's why it's so important that all the exit should always be through the final confirmation page whether it's no thanks or if, if it's a final upsell or downsell it should always end up here on the final confirmation page so the users have a chance to take a look at the uh, items they added to the cart and then hit checkout to complete the purchase